Buddhist attitude. In this video, we are going to discuss about some basic concepts of communication engineering. See, when we talk about world's largest growing sector, one thing which comes at the top of our mind is electronic sector. As the electronics and communication has always been a priority stream in engineering academic and in the present situation where we are completely depend on data signaling, mobile communication and so on. So we must have to have some basic knowledge about communication engineering. This is an introductory video about analog and digital communication and we will discuss basic block diagram of the communication system. So in basic sense communication is simply the process of exchanging information. Here we can see two points as A and B. So main function of communication is to exchange information between these two points by sending signals which are basically electrical in nature. This exchange of information could be wired or wireless. It may be point to point, point to multi point or even it could be network also. Sometimes communication may be done by broadcasting. Some basic examples of communication are radio broadcasting, mobile communication, television broadcasting. This is the block diagram of communication system. First part of this block diagram is information source. The function of information source is to produce required message which has to be transmitted. This information source could be data, picture or it could be speech also. All these information signals then supposed to go to this input transducer. A transducer is a device which converts one form of energy into another form. The message from the information source may or may not be electrical in nature. In case when the message produced by the information source is not electrical in nature, an input transducer is used to convert it into a time varying electrical signal. The signal which comes out from input transducer, we could say it input signal. Next part is transmitter, where this input signal is given. The function of the transmitter is to process the electrical signal from different aspects. Modulation is the main function of the transmitter. In modulation, the message signal is superimposed upon the high frequency carrier signal. Except modulation, maybe other functions like analog to digital conversion, amplification also done by transmitter. We will discuss about modulation in details into another video. The signal which comes out from this transmitter called transmitted signal. Now when we discussing about transmitted signal, then we need to know some characteristic about transmitted signal. Like whether it will be analog or digital signal, what is the frequency of the signal, what is the bandwidth of the transmitted signal. These are some aspects which are important for transmitted signal. With reference to the block diagram of a communication system, the term channel means the medium through which the message travels from transmitter to the receiver. There are two types of channels, namely point to point channels and broadcast channels. This point to point channel can be named as physical channels and this broadcast channel can be named as wireless channels. Examples of point to point channels are wire lines, optical fibers and the example of wireless channel is microwave link. Wire lines operate by guided electromagnetic waves and they are used for local telephone transmission. In case of microwave links, the transmitter signal is radiated as an electromagnetic wave in free space. Although these channels operate differently, they all provide a physical medium for the transmission of signals from one point to another point. Therefore, these channels, the term point to point is used. On the other hand, the broadcast channels provide a capability where several receiving stations can be reached simultaneously from a single transmitter. Now during the process of transmission and reception, the signal gets distorted due to noise introduced in the system. Noise is an unwanted signal which tend to interfere with the required signal. Noise signal is always random in character. Noise may interfere with signal at any point in a communication system. 
Now you can see this is a proper digital signal but during the transmission it is distorted by noise. So by noise any signal can be attenuated or distorted and by what amount the signal will be attenuated and distorted depends on the length of the channel. If the channel length will move then maybe the amount of attenuation and distortion will be more but the receiver should be capable of regenerating the original signal from this distorted signal and it depends on the signal to noise ratio. This parameter is the ratio of the signal power to the noise power. By increasing the signal power, signal to noise ratio can be improved and signal may be transmitted longer distance successfully. The main function of the receiver is to reproduce the message signal in electrical form from the distorted receive signal. This reproduction of the original signal is accomplished by the process known as demodulation or detection. So for a transmitting medium or for a channel there are some important specifications. First is bandwidth of the channel. It is the range of frequencies which is supported by the channel. For example, if a particular channel can transmit the signal in a range of 0 to 50 kilohertz, then we must say that the bandwidth of the channel is 50 kilohertz. If the signal is digital in nature, then data rate is an important factor. This is the maximum supported data flow by the channel. Another specification is length of the channel. So these are some of the important specification for communication channel. Now at the receiver, the received signals is demodulated and after the proper amplification, this signal is given to the output transducer. So this is the basic block diagram of the communication system and a brief discussion on how the message is transmitted with help of this block diagram. I hope in this video, you got a basic concept about analog and digital communication. If you have any questions related to this topic, do let me know in the comment section below. And to get more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, press the like button and share with your friends. Stay safe, stay tuned.